had a lot of expectations before I came here because this is the place where we meet all the relevant stakeholders uh, dealing with uh, energy, clean technologies, renewable energy, smart storage solutions. Quite frankly, I had high expectations. Having come to the last World Systemic Forum, I knew that it's a convening of incredible people from around the world that really think differently about some of the biggest crises that we're collectively facing. Um, my expectation for today was that we will have good discussions on the way uh, for uh, um, the energy vendor, how to go forward, how we could uh, um, uh, work from different point of views to find a good solution, a good way for 100% renewable future. So this uh, was what I was expecting this morning. Yeah. So uh, to participate here at the World Systemic Forum uh, helps us to completely think different and to always ask us about the status quo to produce and deliver products uh, what our customers love. And this is the main thing, by changing their behavior to consume energy uh, in a sustainable way. But beyond that, it was clear that this is a multidisciplinary event, talking to different people from various countries and learning new things, how they see our future world. Yeah, I, I, I was uh, hoping to meet people here who are also transformers on another level and uh, to have an interdisciplinary uh, discourse on how we can manage the transformation of society for more sustainability and the energy transition. Well, when I saw the people who are joining the panel, I was really excited. I thought that's a really cool team and uh, let's see which great ideas we come up with. We need to be open-minded. Mostly it is not possible. It's important if you want to see MacGyver or so. A direct connection to improving public awareness. Renewable energy. What was most fascinating for me as part of the energy roundtable that convened this afternoon was the diversity of perspectives. We had academics, we had investors, we had entrepreneurs, we had those that are established in the energy sector, like Hitachi Energy, for example. And then you had somebody like me, a behavioral scientist, that can explain how these technologies are actually going to make it to commercial viability based on how we communicate these technologies to the public, to policymakers, because that social lubrication is necessary for technologies to really advance and to be adopted and to be implemented and uh, accepted globally. Yes, as owner of this uh, proving ground in North Germany, it was much, uh, it was highly interesting uh, regarding the audience. We saw the different uh, people and the different point of view in the audience, but also especially in, in our podium. We saw it in, in, the, in the discussion that it was absolutely the right uh, expectation, let's say, uh, because it was so vice versa, the discussion, and it was so full of, of uh, life and I th think we came very good to the, to the conclusions, to the points uh, which we expected. My key takeaways are that we have a lot of knowledge in, uh, in our society, in different companies, and uh, um, from really different points of view, where they, uh, how they look on, uh, onto the energy vendor and what they can do to uh, support it. A key takeaway was also that we need to communicate better, and I was really impressed by the discussion on how people know how to communicate better, we just need to really do it and apply what we know about proper communications. I think a statement is certainly that we have to work all together, uh, all in Europe, and um, that it's uh, a real challenge uh, to manage the energy transition, but that we are in a good shape and that we have to keep also technology know-how here in Europe and to build it up in an industrial manner. And by that we need all the resources we can get, so it's talents, technology, regulation standards, policy support are all required to make it happen quickly. Today it was a very visionary talk, that we always say it's more important that you ask the right question instead of finding the solutions or the answers. It's very visionary, it's very, you try to fulfill dreams, to, to start new directions, but, and to start to, uh, or to, to create a network. Trustful network. We don't have to wait for any signal, any policy. Everyone can start now in their domain with their expertise and learn from each other and just get started tomorrow, basically. We have everything we need for 100% future. What we now need is a real 
courage and uh, um, we have to go forward faster than we did it in the past. And I, I believe that we will do it. So therefore, my uh, conclusion is it was a very good uh, um, podium with uh, uh, very good uh, people on that, with uh, good information and uh, good results. So we're looking forward for 100% future. This event is an excellent preparation for the upcoming uh, World Economic Forum in Davos to brief, to inform the politicians, the NGOs, that we really need to focus on specific topics. And these are especially to stabilize the global supply chains with quality assurance. That is one important thing. Uh, to bring trust into the market, also to investors and uh, insurance companies. And the other thing uh, I really appreciated all these talks at the round tables is that we do more for the young talents. It's really important to ensure that the content that was created at the World Systemic Forum is shared with the globe. And I'm looking forward to seeing where the white paper goes, uh, the different consensus statements that came out of the different panels that convened here at the World Systemic Forum. And I'm also looking forward to seeing the impact from the communication of this content. I think it's important that we use this white paper to build even a bigger alliance of people who can support it from politics, from business, investors, creative minds, science, all the experts, and to take it serious. Because what we believe, it's so important who says what. It's not only the what, it's really the, the circumstances you create that people take it serious. Because in the beginning, people don't believe. 